Here we go. go. Here we go again. Hey, hey with my man, aka my best friend. Tune in. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, tune in. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to another video. What up, y'all? I know it's been a minute. Well, we know it's been a minute. But we appreciate you coming back to the channel and subscribing to the tribe. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Because we like to make different types of content here. You know, we like to have deep conversations. We do reaction videos. And, you know, vlog sometimes. So, if that's something you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe now. But, today's video, tell them what today's video is going to be about. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of discipline. Yes. Discipline is something that a lot of people lack. I lack discipline. Do you like discipline? In certain areas, yeah. Okay, so it's something that we all can relate to. So we thought it would be a good topic to, you know, have a conversation about. You know, you're the tribe. You know, with tribe, we try to help each other, try to push each other forward. So the definition of discipline is the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior. So now that we know what the definition is, we kind of want to talk about what makes you disciplined or the importance of discipline as well. So the first step to discipline and what makes a person disciplined is committing. So you have to know what you're committing to. Mm -hmm. Example, our YouTube channel. We'll probably just use our YouTube channel as an example for the whole video. We have to commit to this. With the commitment, we have to know what we're trying to get to. What we're committing to right now for our YouTube channel is 2K subscribers. We're about at 1,700, so that's our, one of our commitments. Yeah. All right, and the second thing is avoiding temptation. And now when we say a person that has discipline doesn't mean they can control temptation better than the next person, mm -hmm. but they know how to avoid it. Yeah. Because without avoiding temptation, it can actually move you away from what you're trying to discipline yourself for. Mm -hmm. So you need that discipline to avoid it and keep your mind focused on what you need to have done. Exactly. Or whatever you're trying to do. What's an example regarding our YouTube channel? Can you think of an example? As an example of that is for us, like content creators. We love watching YouTube. And we love know <laughs> we can catch ourselves watching it for hours. But with us, we have to avoid that. Like, okay, if we could watch it this long, we could be recording ourselves and posting a video. Exactly. So when we watch, we're like, okay, we're going to cut it off here. Boom. And then we're going to focus on recording. Yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. Instead of watching other content creators, we need to actually create our own content. Exactly. Yeah. Look at Oreo. She pink. This is Oreo. She's pink. Isn't she beautiful? She can't see right now because her hair is covering. Yeah. But this is Oreo. All right. Okay. So another example. Okay. Next is they take care. Well. Next is taking care of yourself. In order to be disciplined, that is a form of taking care of yourself. If we're disciplining ourselves to create content, we know that this can be a source of income or it is a source of income to help take care of us. So we have to continuously put in the effort to do so. So you have to make sure you're taking care of yourself to do that. Um, let's say we want to make a YouTube video and we know we have to make videos on Saturday, right? But instead, on Saturday, we want to go to the beach, want to go to the park, want to do all these other things. Mm -hmm. We have to discipline ourselves and figure out, okay, maybe we can go to the beach, but maybe we should record first. If we are going to go to the beach, we have to make sure we edit first. We have to discipline ourselves. Now, another thing that's really important is to set boundaries. The hardest part. That's one of the hardest things because when you set boundaries, you have to say no to things, even if you don't want to say no. We're not just doing content. Our plan is to make a lifestyle of it too, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So can't allow yourself to let outside things distract you. So you have to say no, no. to certain things, even if you don't want to. No is a hard word. And it's because you no can be confrontational. When you tell somebody no, they might be upset about it. Yeah. If you tell yourself no, you might be upset about it. So no is a very hard word for people to use. So if you're trying to become more disciplined as a person, try utilizing the word no. Start off small, then let it get big. I was the person who wasn't good at saying no. But now, oh, I'll say no. I'll say it. 
Next is routine. So everybody knows when you're in school, if you're in school now, you have a routine, right? You have your set of classes and that's your routine. If you go to the gym, that's your routine. If you go to work, that's a routine. Mm -hmm. Those are all discipline routines. Some of them you don't have a deciding factor in, but they are still a routine. Now, once you become a certain age, you might not have a routine in certain areas. So you might not have a routine in school anymore unless you're in college. But now you have to make your own routine. And that is very hard because a lot of people don't like routines. A lot of people don't like doing the same thing over and over again because that's effective. boring. But it's very effective. A YouTube example. We have to have a routine. We have to have an uploading routine. We have to have an editing routine and a recording routine. Without those routines, this channel will collapse. And that's, yeah. that's the truth. So you need routine. You lead with your mind and not with your mood. If I know my goal is to work out, gain weight, tone myself up, but my mind is saying I don't feel like going to the gym today. But me knowing I can't allow myself, I can't allow my mind to dictate what I should and should not do mm -hmm. because that can slow down the process. And the progress. And the progress. Mm -hmm. Because if you ate, I mean, say if you ate bad that day. You need to burn those calories to burn what you just ate off. There's been plenty of times that we didn't feel like recording, which is obvious to tribe members because we've just been live streaming. This is just yeah. an example. We've been live streaming a lot because it's easier, but now we're trying to get back in a routine, not let our mood get in the way of what we need to do for ourselves. The next one is clearly defining your goals. If you don't have a goal, then what are you doing? I can say I want to be a YouTuber. How do you become a YouTuber? You have to make a channel. What else do you do? You make videos. Those are goals inside of the discipline. So if I want to get to 10K subscribers, what does that take? That takes discipline. That takes researching so I can make good content. That takes making good thumbnails. There's a lot that goes into it. Just because I want something, if there's no discipline behind it, it's not going to work. No matter how bad you want it. And a lot of people you look at, you might think they're the best at something. And they're not what makes the difference between them and you is they're actually doing it and they're disciplining themselves to do it so you look at them as oh wow I, how could they do this because they stayed focused and disciplined themselves you could be uh the best basketball player in the world but if you don't practice as much as you're supposed to do like michael jordan even i think he wasn't even as, as good as basketball in high school and he got really good um after that i know what j cole said though was he said he wanted to be a basketball player and he thought him playing basically street ball and stuff like that was enough. But not knowing there was people going to the gym taking a thousand shots a day. Yeah. Or doing over a thousand shots a day where he was probably doing maybe a hundred. Exactly. Like, to clarify your goal, you have to be specific with your goal. In mm -hmm. order to be specific with your goal, you have to break it down and say, okay, for example, we want 10K. Like she said, we got to break down like we have a whiteboard. We literally write everything down of what we need to get done and actually follow that whiteboard. If we want to get to 10K subscribers, we got to get to 1K first. We got to get to one first. You have to have clearly defined goals to get to where you want to get to. You don't just jump from zero to 10. You have to continuously put in the effort, as much effort as you possibly can to reap the benefits of what you want. Because you might look at somebody from the outside and think they don't deserve to be there. A lot of people have that, um, they have that outlook of, they don't deserve to be there or I should be there. But why should you why should you be there? Are you putting the work in to be there? Why do you deserve to be there if you don't put the discipline in? <laughs> if you're not putting the discipline in behind it, why do you deserve to be there? Yeah. And you have to be honest with that. Another big one is people who have discipline, they live by deadlines. Yeah. Because you have to give yourself deadlines. It is necessary. For example, with our YouTube channel, we have deadlines of our recording. We have deadlines to edit. We have ed deadlines to record. We have deadlines for post date. For example, we post Monday, Wednesday, and go live Fridays. Mm -hmm. It may not always go as planned, but you still have to have these deadlines set in place to try to keep yourself ahead. You have to have, like you said, you have to have deadlines for yourself. I understand that, like he said, things do get in the way. You know, maybe I'm sad today. Okay, you sad today. But what about tomorrow? What about the next day? You have to understand, you do have time to do things. Of course, yeah. you always have time. But you can't push back certain things, certain aspects of what you want to accomplish. 
You just have to be careful. That's it all I'll say. It has to be number one on your priority list. What do you want and go after it? Yeah. What do you want? And that can change too, but that's another topic we can talk about later. The last one is keep your eye on the prize. You know, you know what you're trying to get to. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let yourself, don't stop yourself. Because you can do that. Don't procrastinate. Mm -hmm. Keep your eye on what you want. And mm -hmm. you're intentional about your goals. And you try, at least do 1% of what you want to do every day. Because it'll lead up to something. Yeah. You don't understand. We're not perfect at this. This is something we're still working on. We're not saying this as if we're experts in discipline. We're training ourselves to be better at discipline. So you we, have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. Just do a little bit. Let's say you okay. I'm gonna use YouTube again. Let's say you want to make a YouTube channel. Yeah. So what do you need to do to make a YouTube channel? Make go to Google and make a, a Gmail account. That's the first step. Mm. You can record a video, edit a video, make a thumbnail, post a video. So you can do these things throughout the week. You don't have to do it all in one day, but each step is gonna lead to that goal. So don't stop yourself from being great is basically what I'm saying. And I know it's not easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Life's not easy. But you can accomplish anything you want to with discipline and persistence. What's meant for you will be for you. But don't take that as if it's meant for me, then I'm going to get it no matter what because that's not true. You're not going <laughs> to yeah. get what you don't put the work in for. So mm -hmm. like some people be like, I'm waiting on God for this. Well, God meets you after you put the work in he don't just okay you need help boom no yeah. you put the work in then he's gonna help you from there yeah and it's the same thing with this real life situations if you want to do certain things like we said with everything we said about discipline breaking it down knowing what you want keeping your eyes on the prize cab deadlines all that stuff is critical mm -hmm. because with all that stuff in place that's what will keep you on the path mm -hmm. But if you keep letting yourself sway here, sway here, sway here, you're wasting time and you're taking yourself off on the path. And that's why you may not be reaching what you really want because you're not really putting the work in behind it. Putting the work in is more important than everything else. You need to put the work in. For yourself, not for anybody else. Yeah. It's for you. Even if you're in a relationship, it's for you. Yeah, it's your own uh, path. Yeah. You and your significant other got your own path. Some of the things may align. But at the end of the day, you and your snip other are totally individuals. Mm -hmm. So, she, he is going to go their way. You're going to go your way. Mm -hmm. Like I said, some may align, but know that y'all both have stuff y'all have to do on y'all own before y'all come together. Mm -hmm. But that's all I got to say. That's all I have to say, too. If you made it to the end of the video, you might as well subscribe to the tribe because... I think you like it here, you know. I can tell you kind of liking it. Go ahead and like this video if you haven't already. Um, tell them what Tribe stands for. Trying really is better every time. Okay, Tribe. So you know what to do. Come back to the next video. Bye.